Hello there, this is Victor and uh, in this lecture I'm going to cover some some important points from my poker book Secrets of Poker Pros, Psychology, Tilt and Stress Relief uh, for aspiring players So, this book I published a couple of years ago and uh, it is available on Amazon for purchase and uh, for this poker course I believe I will share with you some important points uh, from this book. So uh, the first point is what is a successful poker player. So uh, if you have a losing, if you have a losing session then some winning sessions and then again you have some big losses you do not become a successful poker player a successful poker player is one uh, who uh, whose graph is in green and uh, who's not losing money into poker uh, let me be frank poker is a very difficult game to win money in the long run even seasoned professionals have long losing streaks and many famed pros have lost all the money uh, they had won. So you become a successful player only if you are in the green and you are building upon profits and uh, you are going for steady wins you are not going for uh, you know uh, big big leaps forward uh, okay and you have to be an expert at odds uh, in every situation on the flop turn river uh, you have to know uh, what kind of odds you're getting what are, what is the pro probability uh, that uh, you are going to you know have the best hand then uh, are you getting the right price to call uh, or uh, uh, or let us say you have you know two suited uh, cards and uh, there are two players in the hand with you you have to know like what your equity looks like in that situation uh, or if there is just one person and uh, he has bet the pot then you have to understand like uh, whether you are getting the right price to call or not for flush draw on the flop. Okay so this is a very simple rule like big hand, big pot, small hand, small pot. Uh, most pros what they are trying to do in, a, in every session is controlling the size of the pot. Uh, and they can do this best when they are in position and not from out of position then you uh, like uh, must be knowing about the error and port rule it's not like you can refer this book then in this book I have discussed about plus CV model that uh, like you should play thinking you know that uh, every decision you are going to be ahead, a little little ahead you are going to be in that way you know in one hour you are going, you are going to be ahead if you don't focus on every single decision and uh, you know being ahead in every single decision uh, even at the pre-flop stage starting uh, with some benefit like having a strong range, having more equity so if you don't go that way uh, you're going to lose money then tag strategy or lag strategy and why those strategies are not working right now on the uh, poker scene I'm explaining uh, uh, like one reason is like everyone is following the same strategy and if you do not add to those strategies and you do not innovate and you do the same mistakes as every other player then uh, you are going to be break even then in this book I'm going to be discussing about uh, about tilt and uh, what you can do to control the tilt and have a 
tilt free session and what to do when you have a big loss uh, then I will have uh, gone to detail in like table selection that like that is standard like you uh, I believe you know this and uh, stack size like I would always advise you to have a to play with a deep stack so that uh, you can control the variance and you are taking advantage of uh, the one pair and two pair kind of mistakes that most uh, Amadia players will make then uh, like you already know like you should not bet real money you should go for uh, you know play money games to learn then why aggression is good position is good you have to know your image and you have to be always you know focused when you're playing then uh, you have to think about a lot of the other things uh, you know uh, you have to question yourself at each stage why you are making this play uh, you do not want your impulses to rule you like uh, you are in a session and you know a voice inside you says okay you know this hand is going to win that hand is going to win you don't want that to happen you want to have a system and you have to basically you know follow that system to win and uh, you know you should keep seeing the probability you should you know know all the odds um, then you have to know these basics you know like see uh, the AK suited will come once in 331 hands and you know this you should just always you know keep in mind uh, like a, a or kk once in 110 hands and uh, this is one reason why people go overboard with a, a and kk and you should always be wary of this kind of a hand when you are having a deep stack uh, then uh, like uh, every day if you you know learn a little bit about poker probability at the end of the year you are going to be way ahead than your competition so have a journal create a journal and uh, put down every day you know just couple of uh, points that you learn uh, then basically you know bankroll management is another uh, section that I discuss in this book and uh, you have to really learn how to manage your bankroll because otherwise uh, uh, if you take big risks couple of days or if you try to you know recover money uh, you are going to lose money very fast and you're not going to have a bankroll if you're going to you know lose money in poker and like even when you're having a deep stack you know don't make loose calls uh, just hoping you know to to get a flush because uh, <clears throat> that's you know your stack will just bleed and uh, you're going to suffer losses even with a deep stack you know play a tight game and take advantage of those situations in which you have a logged hand and uh, uh, and in that situation uh, you will win a big pot and uh, a little into a little psychology I discuss in my book like uh, uh, how what is the importance of intuition so you can read in detail in this book then uh, then basically I also discuss like why physical fitness is important and how much uh, draining poker is uh, you know as a continuous activity if you quit your job and then you are grinding for a living uh, then it's going to be quite draining on you because in poker you have to be your 100% you have to concentrate uh, in every single session you have to give your 100% unlike in a job like like on Monday 
morning you know you may be uh, much more relaxed than on say Wednesday uh, but in a when you are playing poker for a living in every session you have to be completely focused you have to give your A plus okay so uh, then these are some points you know that you can read here you can pause the video you know you can uh, read them then I have gone uh, quite into detail uh, in this book uh, and uh, I actually bought a psychology course and from that I took out a lot of good points that I found then like this image is of the Maslow's hierarchy and uh, basically it tells you you know that uh, you have to have you know the basics right and uh, once the basics are right you know then uh, then you know other things will take care of themselves uh, for example like poker is a creative game like there's a lot of art just like you know in day trading in stock market those that are realizing a lot of profits have all your basics right so once you have all those basics right you know a session the result of the session is not going to tilt you or it's not going to impact you much then you can play your best poker then uh, poker tilt is actually a very complex uh, topic and a lot of things uh, you know may tilt you uh, your attachment may impact you your attachment towards money or your ego may get in the way if you have discussed your results with others okay you have told them I have X amount of money then you know you will develop attachment to it and then you are much more prone to losing it then I also discussed about martingale and uh, why you should never martingale and you should follow reverse martingale if you have lost X amount of money you lost a couple of binds drop down in stake rebuild and then come back to the same stake okay so uh, also if you get a chance do do preview this book and I believe it's going to help you a lot uh, the book is in a lot of detail and uh, uh, all of it I cannot share in this training video and uh, I will stop here thanks for watching